r slash the less from me osava episode 25 when people ask what's my personal favorite menu item i start suggesting great dishes that i had dozens of times and customers tend to like it as well then they order something completely different that i think is not even worth trying what's the point of asking then Edit, I get that some of customers already decided, or just choosing between 2-4 to four dishes. Better questions are how's your Alfredo pasta, or I'm choosing between Greek and garden salad. Which one is better? This way they get a more specific answer than just hoping I love same thing as they do. My son is 200 pounds at 14, he needs real food. Work at a small plates and cheese bar. This family of 3 comes in, sits down. Their first words were said by mommy. This menu is completely unacceptable. Where are the actual food? My boy is 200 pounds and 14. He needs to eat a lot to not lose weight and some pansy small plates there and gonna cut it. Me, I'm sorry you don't find our menu to your taste. We do specialize in small plates, so suggest between 2 and 3 dishes per person. Plus, I can certainly suggest items that are more hearty slash large, if you would like. Mommy, can I see your manager? I'm already enraged about the lack of actual food on the menu and now you are calling my son fat suggesting my son needs two or more dishes just to be full. Me, sure mom, my manager is Jason and I'll definitely suggest he stop B. But I do think there has been a misunderstanding, in no way did I intend to insult your son, I was just explaining our menu. Small plates generally suggests one should order multiple dishes, to taste our entire range of dishes, regardless of size of the person. Mommy, yeah, I think the manager needs to be here now. You just called my son fat twice. I expect to eat for free tonight. Me, sure thing, it'll get Jason right over. But while I do that, can I get you some water at least? Mommy, skip the water. We will have three cokes, and my son will have a coke refill as well. He drinks so fast, laugh. So, Jason, not real name, goes over and tries to explain yet again how this all works. Same basic annoyances. Kids refill is now empty, and where is a refill? Add it on. Eventually they order with the manager. One dish each for the parents, four slices of our pizza for the kid. We camp one small plate, for the hassle and they pay, leave no tip, and leave. Whatever. It was absurd. Finally I had a manager stand up for me. I'm 23 in graduate school and I've been waiting tables at a restaurant that's known for its endless fries, since I was 18. I've gone through 7 managers in 6 years and all of them have sucked in various degrees, Two months ago we went through a ginormous staff overhaul. To make a long story short the previous manager in collusion with a few staff members was stealing. We got a new store manager, new head chef, new hostess and two new servers. Anyway the new manager is super nice she's been great, but honestly I've had a few managers start out nice, but turn out crappy, so I've been holding my breath. This occurred Monday afternoon. So I swipe in, and she pulls me to the side asking if I'd take a table of folks who are known to be assholes, since the new server whose section they were in is easily frazzled. So I go up to them, smile start to ask what they wanted to drink. Now I've never served these folks, but I've heard horror stories. It's a woman and man in their late 50s to early 60s. He interrupts me, don't wanna hear your BS drinks ya charge an arm and a leg for. Just get us some damn water. I fake a smile, and go grab the mice waters, I go back, and he tells me their orders, before I can even set the drinks down. I wrote down their order, and repeat it back to them. I go out in their order, and take my next table, not even 5 minutes later he's snapping his fingers. I go over, the wife has a look, like she smelled her own farts, and she barks out, how long it take to make a damn medium rare burger. I'll let them know their order will be out soon, and it's only been 5 minutes. 10 minutes later their burgers are done I take them out to them. He starts yelling, why is this burnt I asked for medium. I can't even get a word in, before the wife gets up goes over to the manager and literally drags her over. My manager is in shock this woman literally yelled her over. 
fix this. This server is incompetent this is unacceptable. All I heard over and over in my head is Liman grab from Adventure Time, this is unacceptable. My manager looked at them both I was expecting her to give them a corporate car to calm their meal, but nope she asked them to leave, at first they wouldn't, but when she threatened to get mall security, we are attached to a mall, they left vowing never to come back. My manager just patted me on the back and thanked me. I'm hoping she stays this cool. A guest got pissed, because I asked for the check, after I told him I'll be right back when ropping it. So I'm a server at a movie theater, where it actually is an upcharge to get seated at the section, where we have in-dining service. Also, all the kitchens and bars we have close 30 minutes after the last movie starts, so we close out our tabs then and usually pick them up 10 minutes afterwards, since there's not much to do, and no point of staying all the way until the movie ends. Guests usually don't mind this, especially since we tell them that we are closing, and we are coming back for the checks, but today, this one guest starts yelling at me in the theater, since I kept interrupting the movie, proceeded to throw the check at me, and told me he's going to speak to a manager after the movie ends, since what I was doing was unacceptable. I was so pissed, especially since he chose to sit in the section, and paid extra for service. I also had told him, when I took his order, that we would be closing during the movie, he said he wanted to leave his tab open until then. I told my managers and even they were confused on why he would get so mad. Why pay an extra $10 to sit in a section where you get service if you're gonna get mad at the server for doing their job? I didn't even care that he didn't tip me, he treated me like shit. People should not treat their servers like shit at all. Period. Tips in Spain. So giving tips in Spain isn't so common. Usually it's the tourists who left tips especially in the area I used to work. In the restaurant slash bar was the only one who spoke English and couple of other languages. It was a slow Monday and around 1pm and I was working alone with my manager. A couple of English guys came to eat. Of course I had to go to their table and attend them. I have no problem with that as I always like to have a nice chat in English. They order and I shit you not the whole menu which were at least 12 dishes and around 40 tapas. They eat everything and drank quite a lot but weren't drunk or anything. After they went to pay they come out to me and hand me over 20 euros and say that it's only for me as my manager didn't do shit. Not even offered some shots after such a big bill. I shared those with the two guys in the kitchen giving them 6 euros each. After a week they came back, and they now ordered the things they mostly like from our menu, and we had a nice long chat as they were the only clients we had at the time. Again they went to pay the bill and I invited them for some shots. When they gave me the tip they handed me over a 50 euro bill and I refused. They pushed it down my pocket and told me that in the two weeks they've been here nobody attended them as good as me and wanted to pay me extra for that, again mentioning it was for me not my manager. I did like they said and didn't give her shit while I gave 15 bucks to both cooks. My manager is the kind of woman who doesn't really give a shit about the customers and doesn't work a lot as she's our boss's sister, so he won't kick her out. Would you do the same or war or do you share it with her as she didn't do anything? Why people I sorry, but I gotta tell this little history a couple of days back I served a table, because the server that was supposed to serve them was really busy and my manager told me pls take it, I took care of them like there is no tomorrow, and got compliments and shake hands, they even told me next time we will ask for you, they tip they went away, next day they call the restaurant and complain, they got a full refund and of course. The server is the one to take the blame why would you go out of her way to hurt someone, my team believes me, but management gotta go with a client water under the bridge. Why are people like this? I think one of the worst experiences as a server is when everything goes perfect with the table and they still leave no tip or a horrible tip. I thought we liked each other. You said the food was amazing and my service was awesome. It hurts me so much more. Because it's like an unexpected breakup that you didn't see coming. Anyone else have stories like this? Carpal tunnel syndrome? So lately I've been experiencing stiffness and tingliness in my dominant hand, particularly in the fingers and wrist. 
for any server that has had or currently have this problem. Any recommendations to prevent this from getting worse to the point where surgery is needed? Racist Kaoka has gotten even worse than before. So I have a Kaoka who is racist against two particular groups of people. She's not openly racist, as in she will be nice to them to their face, but whenever she's in the back she will rant about how certain ethnicities are so rude, I hate certain ethnicities, to the closest person. She's made it known to wait staff who have worked the same shifts as her, she only works two days a week, that she hates these two ethnic groups. Anyway, her vitriol has gotten much worse than before. She's now even criticizing a Kaoka who is the same ethnicity as customers that she always complains about. The other day she silently told me, other Kaoka is so rude to those customers, but you know, other Kaoka's ethnicity are typically rude and they don't know it. I was shocked that I didn't know what to say. From what I could hear, the other Kaoka wasn't even being rude, she was just trying to explain the menu to what I assume were first time customers. I guess racist Kaoka didn't like her natural tone of voice or something. Without mentioning her name, because I don't want her to find out it was me, I mentioned to management that there was a racist Kaoka who was making me very uncomfortable because of her constant vitriol towards customers of two certain ethnicities and how she only rants about it to a select few Kaokas, which includes me, because I'm the same ethnicity as her. Like I know there is more than 1000 years of bad history between her ethnicity and one of the ethnicities she hates, particularly because one of the ethnicities she hates has oppressed people of her ethnicity for more than 1000 years, but this is ridiculous, admittedly I'm American born unlike her, who was born and raised in the country of her respective ethnicity, so I don't understand the bad history as well as she does. She took up a second job at an office, so I don't understand why she's still hanging on to her restaurant job if she hates serving two particular ethnicities so much. In fact, her racism has gotten even worse since she started working at her office job. But because management speak limited English I'm not sure if they would even understand. But one of the cowhawkers who racist Kaoka is close with, and has also ranted about certain groups of customers too, is the same ethnicity as management, so I'm hoping that she's mentioned it to them in their native language, so they can understand the problem. Training day 3, update. Need to vent, yet again. Feel free to skip, this post is probably a mess lol. TL, doctor at the bottom. I posted yesterday about how I was training someone last night and today was my third day in a row training him. He was leading, so I kinda let him do his thing except he couldn't. We were busier today than the last two days the most tables we had at a time was four. Except I took one on my own. I had to constantly remind him to do things like clear plates and get refills. He struggled getting to check on all his tables and was just overall slow. He doesn't remember what people ordered, so he forgot things like soup and salads to start which are obviously important. I felt bad, because I was pretty hard on him, but he has one more training shift, will be his 8th, and then has on his own, so I had to just throw him in or else he will never learn. Also he made me shit money tonight, so I'm just bitter. I just don't think he's ready but that's not my place to say I guess. He asked on his first day, so you really don't know when you'll be out of here every day. And I laughed in his face yesterday at his 3 hours he said k I'm done and left, but today I made him stay until his last table was done and still he left, right as soon as they paid. I'm curious to see how he will do on his own, having to clean and do side work and stuff too. Oh and also he still can't hold a tray of more than 4 drinks or a large tray with 2 dinner plates on it. Yikes TL, doctor I was training someone who probably shouldn't be a server, and I'm excited to watch it crash and burn when he's on his own, that one lady. Not that interesting of a post, but working 15 days in a row at some chicken place will get ya. And being almost closing time, hurry up. Dog, how to undoor itself called dogging, the door. Older lady asked if we had strawberry something, and I said we had this, and she said lemonade. Yes we have lemonade. Partially deaf with mild hearing loss I can't hear everything but I try. 
Figure out she wanted strawberry lemonade. Co-worker asks what lady wants, and I say I think she wants some strawberry lemonade, and lady starts saying she only wanted a sample, she never told me she wanted a sample, but I did have to tell her of a small upcharge, if that was what she wanted. She got mad, and said that's not what she said, anyway told manager I was rude, lady I'm doing the best I from can without misdirection from you. No write up though got a talking to because I'm a good worker they said. Upper manager gets to here too, yay me.